This video will explain the functions of the robot transport controller that controls the robots found under the default, speeds, auto homing, and link defaults tabs. First, we will create a layout. Go to the eCatalog window, Models by Type, Robots, Visual Components, and drag and drop a generic articulated robot onto the 3D world. Go to Models by Type, PM Transport Controllers, and drag and drop a robot transport controller onto the 3D world. Go to Manipulation, and with PNP selected, drag the generic articulated robot onto the robot transport controller to connect them. Under Models by Type, go to PM Flow Components, and drag and drop a feeder process and a sync process onto the 3D world. We will create a process flow. Go to the Process tab, Editor, and click Flow. Click the diamond icon on the robot transport controller, click the feeder process label, and then the sync process label. Play the simulation. The robot transports the products. Here, we have created a layout. We will now explain the properties of the default tab. Click the robot transport controller and from the component properties window, display the default tab. Configuration defines the behavior of the connected robot arm. The list description is different depending on the type of robot. Looks defines the appearance of the controller. This property only changes its outward appearance and does not affect the functioning of the controller. Pedestal diameter defines the width, length, and diameter of the controller. Like looks, this does not affect the functioning of the controller. Pedestal height defines the height of the controller. When the height of the controller is changed, the height of the connected robot will also change, which affects the movement range of the robot. Visualize state color changes the color of the controller based on the current status of the connected robot. Enable the function and play the simulation. The color of the controller changes when the robot is operating and when it is waiting. This concludes the explanation about the default tab. Next, this section will explain about the speeds tab. The speeds tab defines the various speeds of the connected robot arm, such as the revolution speed. We will now explain each property. Enabled sets whether to apply controller settings to the robot. When the enabled checkbox is deselected, the robot will operate using the settings of the robot. When the enabled checkbox is selected, the controller properties on the speeds tab will overwrite the settings of the robot. As joint force and joint speed are settings only for the controller, these settings will not overwrite the settings of the robot. As these settings are overwritten when the enabled checkbox is selected, the robot settings will not return to their previous values even if enabled is deselected. Joint force defines the acceleration and deceleration of the point to point motion as a percentage for the maximum joint acceleration and deceleration, which is defined by the robot component connected to the top of the robot transport controller. Joint speed defines the speed of the point to point motion as a percentage for the maximum joint speed, which is defined by the robot component connected to the top of the robot transport controller.
angular acceleration defines the angular acceleration and deceleration of the linear motion. Angular speed defines the angular speed of the linear motion. Cartesian acceleration defines the acceleration and deceleration of the linear motion. Cartesian speed defines the speed of the linear motion. We will change these values and confirm that these changes have overwritten the robot settings. Set any value to properties other than enabled and play the simulation. In this example, we will set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to each setting from joint force down. Stop the simulation. Click the Program tab and click Robot Transport Controller. On the Program Editor window on the left, click VC Helper Joint Move and select PTP to display the Statement Properties window. We can see that the joint speed and joint force values are the same as the values set earlier. On the Program Editor window, click VC Helper Linear Move and select LIN to open the Statement Properties window. We can see that the values we set earlier are now the values used for max speed, acceleration, deceleration, max angular speed, angular acceleration, and angular deceleration. By overriding these values, the arm speed of the robot when the simulation is played changes. This concludes the explanation of the speeds tab. This section will explain about the auto homing tab. The auto homing tab defines the setting of the auto homing function. The auto homing function automatically moves a connected robot to a defined home position when it is continuously idling with no tasks assigned to it. The home position is defined by the robot subprogram with the program name Home. Select the enabled checkbox and play the simulation. When the robot is continuously idling without performing a task, we can see that the robot is moving to the start position of the simulation. Stop the simulation, click the Program tab, and click Generic Articulated Robot. Select the Home Program. When the Auto Homing function is enabled, and nothing is written to the Home Program, the robot will move into position when the simulation starts. When there is a described Home Program, the robot will move to the described position. Go back to the Auto Homing tab. Enabled sets whether to enable the auto homing function. Delay defines the waiting time from when the robot starts idling until it starts moving to the home position. If the robot stops idling during the waiting time, it will not move to the home position. This concludes the explanation of the auto homing tab. This section will explain about the link defaults tab. This tab defines the settings for the robot when transporting a product, which are used when the Use Custom Parameters checkbox is not selected in the properties of the transport link. When defining other values to the robot, select the Use Custom Parameters checkbox in the properties of the transport link, and define values in the transport link. A detailed explanation of each property can be found in the transport link explanation. This concludes the explanation of the Link Defaults tab.
This concludes our explanation on the functions of the robot transport controller found under the default, speeds, auto homing, and link defaults tabs. Thank you for watching.